What's up guys? Today is going to be a quick little video um, to show you how I rig my duck decoys um, being that duck season is literally less than one week away. Yesterday I done those two bags. I have one bag left. Um, I used some really cheap material last season just to try to hurry up and rig them up. I completely regret it now because I'm literally redoing every single last one of these decoys. Um, I have one bag left. I finally got some good material. I'm going to show it to you guys. I'm going to show you guys how I rig it up. It's a modified Texas rig. It's not completely Texas rig, but it works for me and the way I hunt. So I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of what, what we got going on here and uh, show you guys how I rig them up. All right. As you guys seen earlier, I just jumped all of my decoys that was in that bag out. And this is the problem I'm dealing with. I literally pick up my weight and there's no decoy attached to the other end of it and that's basically the same problem actually i think that came off of this decoy right here basically this line is a uh, hard plastic type material it's really cheap like i said i made the mistake of using that this year but this year i actually ordered this stuff online made by can you see that it's made by hardcore um, i have no way trying to promote them i'm not sponsored by them but hardcore 200 foot wrap right decoy cord it's really flexible it's almost like a soft plastic rubber type material it's very flexible and i feel like this will hold up way way better than this other plastic i think flambo actually made it it's actually absolutely garbage don't buy that um if i had any recommendation it would be this hardcore um wrap right decoy cord but let me show you how let me clean all this up and get all these weights snipped off and I'll show you how I start rigging them up. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna simply cut these and just get my weights off. Uh, I don't use very expensive weights that you can buy in the stores. I know you can buy these rigs completely set up for $20 for 25 or 24 of them. But I literally bought this entire roll of the decoy cord for 10 bucks, I think it's 200 feet, which should be enough to do all these decoys. And I went to a industrial hardware store and bought these two ounce um, nuts. I think it's like 10 cents a piece. So you can get like a hundred of them for just $10. I mean, it's, it's stupid cheap to make all your rigs. Well, like I said, what I'm doing now is I'm just reaching down to all the cord that fell off, cutting the weights off and putting it to the side. That way I have all my supplies ready to go when I'm ready to actually start rigging up. As you can see, got all the, all the uh, old cord clipped off and put in a big junk pile. Got all the decoys that's ready to actually be re-rigged. And I also have these decoys that I've, these are the first decoys I've ever purchased. And I, I these are the ones I actually bought the rigs that's already pre-made at Academy. And as you can see, they're still in good shape. Um, for a lot of people that say game winner products aren't that great and you gotta buy the good stuff. Well, this is entirely game winner. The decoys are game winner. Um, and I've been having these for now four seasons now and they've held up very good. I'm sure this one has a couple holes in it from being shot. Um, but game winner is some good products. Don't let people tell you they're not unless they had a really bad experience. But um, like I said, these are pre-rigged. I got two of these, that and a wood duck hen. I'm gonna put those to the side and I'm gonna get started on the actual decoys. That I'm gonna be rigging up today. So what I'm gonna do is I already have <coughs> these, you can buy a Walmart, just regular barrel swivels. Um, let's see what size, size one knot. It comes in a pack of 12. Um, I actually already have all of these on there from last year. All it is is a little barrel swivel with a snap. Uh, use the heavy duty ones, the bigger ones. That way you ain't gotta worry about anything if it gets caught in grass. But basically what I do is I just leave that. I'll take some of my cord, stretch it out. And then I'll take these decoy cord clamps. I do prefer the I do prefer the game winner name brand um, just because they're made out of like a harder plastic. These are almost like some type of like a metal or aluminum or something like that. I mean, they still work, but I just rather the game winner, um, just the plastic version of it. 
So what I'm gonna do is beforehand, I'm going to, you see how you got these two, you got these two little holes that you can see with a little break in the middle. I just slide it into one side, give me a little extra right here, a little extra past it. I'm gonna take my swivel, pass it through the eye of the barrel, as you can see right here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop that back through the other hole of the barrel swivel. And I'm gonna get a little bit of, as you can see, it's looped. It's looped in the barrel and coming out through here. And they got two pieces right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these with my finger so I get enough space. And all I do is take some simple, some snips that has a sharp edge on them. And I just line it up right in the middle of the clamp and just kind of slowly clamp it down. You can hear it actually clamp down on there. And I'll go to the other side then clamp down on there. And just for good measure, I mean, it's, it's held in there now, but for good measure, what I do is I'll just come to each corner and I'll just give it a little tiny press with the snips. That way it locks it in a little bit better. And as you can tell, that's not going anywhere. All right, now that I have my initial cord connected to the bow sole, I'm gonna take, what I normally do is just do arm's length. So I'll pick this up until I get about arm's length down to um, the height of my head up here. And then what I'll do is I'll take this cord and I'll snip it off of the drum that it's held on. Put that down. And so now that I have about maybe three and a half, four foot of cord, and I'll do the exact same thing that I did with the snap swivel, but I'll do it attached to the weight and attach the weight to the other end of the cord. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my weight. And like I said, you don't have to go exp spend expensive, spend expensive. You don't have to go spend a lot of money on expensive weights. Um, these at, I think I bought these at Lowe's or some department store. It said 10 cents a piece. They're two ounces. There's plenty enough weight that you need. I hunt open water, um, which is why I'm making these so deep. Um, normally the water over there is in between two and a half and three feet deep. Um, but it's really soft mud. So got to make sure it gets into that mud real good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one of these little clamps. I'm going to pass my line through one end. Then I'm going to take it, pass it directly through the middle of the nut. I'm going to bring it back, pass it right back through the other hole that's available, just like I did with the bow swivel. And it's looped in like that. I'm going to separate the two pieces up top. That way I have room to clamp it um, with my snips. And take the snips. Make sure these are separate because you don't want to pinch off the cord in the clamp itself. Make sure it's nice and tight because sometimes it'll start to slip if you don't clamp it right in the middle and tight enough. Like I said, do it on both sides. That way you got good pressure from both ends. And then for good measure, a little tiny bit of pressure on each corner just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And you're not doing any more damage uh, by doing this. You're not pinching it off in there. I'm barely putting any pressure. But that way, it is snug in there. And that basically right here is your completed rig. Like I said, it's not Texas rig. Texas rig, normally you'll pass this entire um, loop through and the loop will be on the outside like that. But I like it better this way. Um, also on the bottom, the reason I leave so much of this little I don't know what you want to call it. The reason why I leave this out more and not closer to the to the uh, clamp is because where we hunt, there's a lot of grass and there's a lot of stuff in the water. Um, so I use this as basically another anchor mechanism for the decoy itself. So even though this is sitting on the ground, this may pass through some grass and it helps anchor right there as well. So that's the reason why I leave, if you're wondering why I leave a lot of this extra uh, cord out. But so far, that's all you do. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this around. And that is it. Cord's wrapped around. Weight's attached. And I'm going to put it back in the bag and move on to the next one.
just to give you guys another angle and perspective to show you how easy this method of uh, decoy rigging is um, I'm gonna go through one at my pace um, I kind of explained to you earlier on a slower level and kind of broke it down so you in case you guys are trying to rig as you're watching this video um, you could watch that beginning half but I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to actually just rig this up uh, it's literally maybe a minute per decoy if that um, I'd say max 45 seconds it's it's very quick put it that way so like I said what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my little clamp right here I'm gonna grab my string I'm gonna find the tip of it I'm gonna pass my clamp through it I'm gonna pass this string through that I'm gonna loop it back through the clamp I'm gonna take my snips I'm going to snip this piece down at the other end as you can probably hear on the shed roof that I'm in um, it is raining here um, it's part of this cold front that's coming through which I'm pretty excited about because it is the first hard cold front that's coming through this duck season so far I say duck season prior to duck season normally it's about 70, 65, 70 degrees the past two duck seasons that opened up here in Louisiana. But uh, this this next week coming up is actually supposed to have a hard freeze. It's uh, getting down into the 30s this whole next week and then opening day should be somewhere around the um, low 40s, maybe high 30s if we get lucky enough. So I'm hoping this cold front will bring down some of those ducks that are stuck up north right now. Um, and hopefully we're getting some good numbers like I said this one's almost over and put the last clamp on it and that is how easy this rig is to do and it's completely done so you just gotta wrap it up put the side move on to the next one but it's, this is the easiest way that I've found to rig up these decoys a lot of you may think Texas rigging is easier like I said this is like a, a remix type version of the Texas rig but hopefully you guys enjoy I'm going to finish up all these decoys real quick, um, and I'm going to catch y'all on the water because this weekend is open the weekend for duck season, and I'm beyond excited. So hopefully you guys stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and stay tuned for another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman.